Ah, the consummate entertainer. One who can work a crowd. Sing like an angel. And shop till he drops. Maxi Priest strolled up to the register in the late 80s, cashing in on a sunny blend of reggae and soul. Crossover hits like Close to You and Wild World earned him adoration, record sales, and the praise of chirpy talk show hosts everywhere. Uh, working downstairs, Maxi Priest. Well, this is Janice's band to watch. We met a uh, Maxi Priest. Now, if you're a fan of reggae, then you'll know that Maxi Priest has been topping the reggae charts for some time. But why reggae? Why did you do that, get involved in that? It's like an up music. It's fresh. It's uh, bright, you know, anything that's kind of cool, you know? Well, I can see that. Yeah. You're, you're very cool this morning with a lovely <laughs> smile. Oh, you're Tomorrow. too kind. Born in the outskirts of London, Max Elliott spent his early days just trying to get attention. Not an easy task in a family this size. Maxie joined England's version of the Boy Scouts, but the uniform didn't fit this budding Rasta man. As a teen, he sprouted cool dreads, tuned into reggae, and looks like he picked up some bad habits. I'm sure that the, if I was uh, filmed on camera in my early days, there would be a lot of things that I wouldn't want to see. <laughs> Better close your eyes, Maxie. <laughs> there he is in 1984, playing MC at the Lewisham Boys Club. We're not sure what he's saying, but it sounds pretty fly for a guy who got his start as the band Carpenter. What began as a charity gig turned into the perfect opportunity for prime exposure. But what really made Maxie the Lord of the Dance Hall? That's one secret he likes to keep under his hat. Gee, this I'm dying to see what I like. <laughs> Chicks dig the hair. <laughs> <laughs> 